of the night, so uh, that's not where he wants to be at the moment. And of course, he's going to, let's get it over with. You know, C-section takes less than a minute. Just cut it open, yank the baby out, and, um, and it pays four times more than if he would just sit there for 15 hours or 25 hours or 35 hours and listen to her screams. And who wants to do that? Because they don't have a concept that a woman doesn't have to scream, that she can actually learn to navigate that energy and uh, not waste herself in all this fighting herself. Because if she would just relax, the cervix would just open the way it's supposed to. I forgot that there is 25 minute version of this DVD. I should have watched. Uh, do you want to see what C section looks like? Or, uh, no? Okay. <laughs> huh? Yeah, okay. Well, first, so you, if you're going to show more video, you probably do that. Yeah, you know, I think we, it, it was a good call because we're running out of time. I would recommend, if you are interested, if you want to learn more, get the movie. Because there is, it's the most comprehensive guide to natural birth in the world. I know everything there is out there. This, this is the best. <laughs> In fact, I just signed the contract yesterday. It's going to be available in most of the bookstores and everywhere, but you know, it will take a few months. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Questions? Yeah, I had a question about um, contraception and uh, preparation before, prior to getting. Um, the question is about conscious conception. Yeah. Um, first of all, connect with the spirit of the unborn child. It's not only up to you. Conscious conception means consciousness <laughs> conception. So it's not left um, just up to you. It's a teamwork with the, the soul and the spirit of the incoming being. So first of all, it's a team decision when how how to conceive, how to birth, how to gestate, because um, as much as we want to um, believe, we cannot really know the agenda, the, the, the whole agenda of this incoming being. So it's a, a huge act of surrender. But the main thing is to connect to connect and see if there is anybody knocking at your door because it might be that it's later or um, you know there is a twin or, or, or so the, de the decision when and how that's what consciousness implies what kind of, I mean, what kind of work or well, most of you here start already, you know, it's with cleansing, detoxing, preparing to the um, ultimate um, quality of the egg and the sperm. So, of course, drop all the bad habits. It, it's basically two, three months prior to the actual conception when the egg and sperm um, Whatever I will conceive today, I have what happened three months ago, basically, in my bloodstream. If I have something that I don't want to be affecting it, then, then I should not do this in preparation. So basically, that means that lumbic imprint starts three months before conception. That's, of course, you know... Never mind then all the history of our parents, of the great parents that goes into this game too. But we cannot do much about that. We can do a lot about our, our um, the way it's affecting us at the moment. So 
the, that, that kind of preparation. But it's really important to be on the same page with the father of the baby. Talk it over to really um, make sure that what you assume is that that's going to fly. Because then the baby will um, multiply hundredfold all the discrepancies on top of the you know, sleepless nights and uh, all the hormonal chaos that a woman goes into after giving birth. Most of the women who did not have good birth go into severe postpartum depression and it's not being recognized until very recently and is not being treated and most of us grew up with mothers who were um, not treated for severe postpartum depression that did not know what to do with us, how to tend to our needs, and we are the result of those mothers who were completely checked out. They were mechanically doing what they were supposed to be doing, but there was nobody home. That's the whole culture of um, generation after generation. Stressed out, extremely exhausted, disheartened, unhappy women. That's what we have in our Olympic imprints. Anywhere I go around the globe, I ask the people, please raise your hands who have happy mothers. Please raise your hands who have happy mothers. Yeah, the, in the formative period. This is um, most hands that I see in, in hundreds of people audiences. <laughs> Sometimes I would have 300 people and there would be one, two hands. So, yeah, there is a lot of work to be done to prepare for this, really prepare. But then again, if, if we just go, you know, short course, um, crash course, in English crash course, then, you know, even a week could do wonders. So, an another question? appreciate what you're saying about conscious conception. I wonder about unconscious conception and when uh, when abortion is used, like a morning after pill, say uh, for a four week old fetus. I, I really appreciated your wisdom and what you were just saying about the actual experience of the fetus uh, and because I sense you have great wisdom in this area that is not being spoken of or taught. And in that situation, say a four-week-old fetus and an abortion, what what would the experience be for that fetus? In uh, my 27 years of working with birth, I if I learned anything is that, that there is no accidents about coming here or not coming here or coming and leaving. Whatever happens while we're here, there is, you know, lots of leeway that coming and going has a lot of a lot of truth the way we were born and the way we go.